Number five is signs you can see in your stool. So number one is if you're constipated, that's your stool telling you that you may not have enough stomach acid because our stool moves through the system at a pace according to its acidity level. And it's really common for chronic constipation to be caused by a lack of stomach acid. Now there's other causes of constipation as well. If you're dealing with chronic constipation, that can be a sign of low stomach acid. If your stool is green, that could also be a sign of low stomach acid because our bile is this green color. And when it mixes with the acidic product that leaves the stomach, it creates this sizzle and helps us bust the food apart and it turns that stool into the brown color that we usually see. So if it's green, then you're seeing mostly bile and not enough stomach acid. The other thing is if you're seeing undigested food in your stool, if there's things you're seeing that are not digested, then you're not really breaking that food down. Sign number six is a loss of appetite. A lot of times when someone is not digesting that food correctly and it's just kind of having to break down by rotting and fermenting, that rotting and fermenting takes a lot longer to happen. So that food's just kind of sitting there and the body's like, well, I don't send anything else down here. I, I'm not done with the mess that you sent down here before. So that can make a person lose their appetite. And oddly enough, sign number seven can be the opposite of that. What if a person is hungry all the time? A lot of times if you can't truly break your food down and pull all the nutrients out of that food, the body's gonna scream for more food. You know that's why we eat food? We eat food to get the nutrients out of that food. So when you can't digest the food correctly and pull the nutrients out, the body's gonna say, hey, I, I got the signal that food was coming, but I never got anything. Send me some more down here. So this person can be hungry all the time. Sign number eight is low energy. Now there's other causes of low energy and chronic fatigue, but sometimes chronic fatigue is about the person doesn't have the ability to turn that food into fuel because they're not breaking it down properly. One tricky aspect to this sign is that if a person doesn't have enough resources to create energy to feel like, hey, I want to get up off the couch and do something, then they may also not have enough resources to make hydrochloric acid. That's what stomach acid is. And the body needs minerals and other nutrients to be able to make hydrochloric acid. So a person can kind of get stuck in this cycle of broken digestion for years or decades. Sign number nine is significant cravings and especially sugar or cravings for carbohydrates because when the body can't break down food correctly and get the nutrients it wants, it will scream for these processed junk, carbohydrates, and sugars to give it some immediate fuel source in a pinch because these junk carbohydrates and sugars are a lot easier for the body to break down and turn into fuel. You don't need a lot of stomach acid to really break down a Pop-Tart. It's practically broken down already in the package. It's just chemicals and junk. So all these kind of foods are really easy to break down. And if you can't access the nutrients in the real food you're eating, your body will scream for this junk.